Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see what exactly SnowSQL is, how we can use it, how we can install it. So SnowSQL is very important when we are working with Snowflake because this allows us to connect to Snowflake. And with our, you know, uh, upcoming hands-on videos, we do need SnowSQL installed in our system. That's why this video takes priority uh, as we move ahead. So the very first question that will come is what exactly Snowflake, uh, SnowSQL is. So SnowSQL is nothing but a command line client. It is just a C CLI, right? It is just a CLI for connecting to Snowflake. So when you uh, have SnowSQL installed on your system, you can actually, you know, execute your any kind of SQL queries. If you want to, let's say, perform any kind of uh, data definition language, you want to perform any DML operations, then in that case, you can use SnowSQL very easily for that. From your command line, you can actually go ahead, connect to Snowflake if you want to upload the data. Let's say you have the data in your Parquet files, you have the data in your CSV file, you have the data in your JSON files, you know, or any other format for that matter. And you want to take that data and you want to load it into the tables, right? You can do it very easily using SnowSQL. So this is the whole use of SnowSQL as such. And the SnowSQL, you know, is, uh, you know, uh, you, you, you have Snowflake repository where you can go and, you know, you can download the file and you can start installing SnowSQL along with that. So I will leave this particular link in the description box, right, which is nothing but, you know, it is a Snowflake client repository and there you will have, uh, you know, all the files which you can actually download and you can start installing uh, the SnowSQL. Right. And always remember that, uh, you know, whenever you download, you download the latest version of SnowSQL. Right. And let's say there are any, uh, you know, minor changes. Then what happens is SnowSQL upgrades automatically by default. Right. Only if there are major, uh, you know, changes, you know, then only you might need to, uh, you know, do downloading and installing but otherwise for the minor patches right for the minor bugs patches then in that case snowflake upgrades automatically the snow sequel so let's move ahead and actually you know we will go ahead and we will see how we can download and install snow sequel from this repository step by step so let me go to this particular repository we will have this link in the description box as well so this is how the repo looks like let me in fact go back <coughs> to the first page right so if you can see over here right it has this odbc connector it has the snow sequel right so right now we are only worried about snow sequel so let's go inside it bootstrap 1.2 and then you have an option to choose from these three since we are using windows i will click on this windows and now here if i see looks like that this is the latest version over here right snow sequel 1.2.23 right let me just click on this and you can actually see that it has downloaded this file right now let me click on open file and you will actually see that it starts uh, you know installing the snow sequel let me click on this install and we will actually see you know that it starts installing and in this process you will actually see that now uh open a new terminal window execute command to test your connection it it has also given you few steps right to test whether your snow sequel has been correctly installed or not right so let me just hit on finish right so the moment i do this what i can do is i can go to my command line interface let me just open my command line interface let's type snow sequel right uh sorry no sql right so now uh, you will actually see that it starts uh, you know installing the version right it will tell you that okay the snow sql has been installed right even if you do right here snow sql minus minus version you will actually see that it will give you the latest version right don't worry about this error as of now so this version 1.2.23 so right now we are confirmed that okay snow so snow sequel has been installed on our system right so let me go back to the ppt right i have also mentioned that after you download and install snow sequel right what you need to do is in the configuration file 
change the location of log file so let me go to the configuration file so let me go to the c folder let me go to users let me go to the username and then you will actually see that this is the folder that has been created right dot snow sql after you install now let me just click over here and you will actually see that this is the version that has been installed and it also has an auto upgrade file i just talked about auto upgrade now similarly you have this config file right so let me just say edit with notepad plus plus now in this configuration file right in this configuration file we essentially need to look up at the log part right this log file part we just need to change this particular location let me go back to the ppt and copy this location and let me just paste it over here right and let me simply save this particular file let me just save my config file right and now let me go back to this command line interface again and let me just type snow sql now you will see that the moment i typed snow sql over here i did not get that previous error which we were getting let me just go up so that uh, you know it is more easily available so right now what you are uh, seeing on the screen are the options which we will talk about so if you see this is no sql right this is what i talked uh, this is what i typed right so the moment i typed in this you can actually see that there is no error because earlier it was asking for uh, you know the log file details only right so right now we have rectified it so this is one of the steps and similarly if you look at this the moment i typed is no sql you can see these options right so snow sql uh is basically right now you have it installed now you have to go and talk to your snowflake right now to talk to your snowflake you need to provide uh you know let's say commands right so this options is nothing but they help you in writing commands so snow sql if you type in minus a you need to give the account name then what will happen is your account name should look like this right so the moment you lo uh, look like uh, your you type in your account name with no sql it will go ahead and it will you know uh, it will try to log into this particular account similarly you can use the db name schema name role warehouse all these things right so we will be doing it now so let me do one thing uh, let us go here and let me just try to connect to my snowflake so this is my snowflake account right and let me again open this command line interface side by side so if you see let me just paste the command over here so you can actually see what i have written over here is snow sql minus a a is nothing but the account name account name is nothing but if you go to this particular url right uh from cj97238 right dot central india which is the location and uh azure which is nothing but the platform right so i am actually you know commanding snow sql to go and connect to this particular url right and take in this user who is the user bhavna bedi right so this is the user name through which i log in to snowflake so the moment i hit enter over here you will actually see that it asks me for a password so let me just type in my password for this okay so now you can see i have typed in my password and it has successfully connected to snow sql and it is telling you snow sql snow sql version as well and you can actually see that it says no warehouse no database no schema so what does this mean it essentially means that right now by default it has not picked up right if you want uh to specify a warehouse a database a schema you can actually do that so you simply need to type so this uh, language is also very simple right so you can simply type use and it will you know you can see that it auto describes the other keywords right so you can say okay use uh, you know um let's say database right let me type in uh, database uh use test database right and the moment you write it just put colon and uh, you will see that it says okay your command got executed successfully i am using my test database right now now you can see that that these initials also changed now from no warehouse no database to no schema it has said no warehouse test database and public because public is the only schema which is present in my test database if you go here this is my test database right 
so i have uh, you know uh, public schema by default it will always pick up public schema by default so in case you want to change it you can change it now similarly talking about the warehouse so right now we do not have any warehouse created so let me go ahead and you know quickly create one warehouse test you know let me just create it and now essentially i can also if i want to connect to this particular uh, warehouse i can simply say that use warehouse right and i can simply say test it will come by auto default uh, so when i say use warehouse test you can actually see that again this particular uh, you know initials changed bhavna bedi test at the rate test database dot public so now essentially you are connected to this particular database right so this is how essentially your snow sql works right if you want to do any select star operation let me see if i have any table right uh, let me check if i have any table created okay right now there is no table so if i want you know to do a select star from any particular table or anything of that sort i can actually do it from here itself so this is very important because the moment we proceed through this particular series i am going to use no sql so i request you all to do install this particular um you know snow sql in your system so that we can proceed we can connect to uh, you know snowflake we can upload the data we can roll out the data we can do you know uh, anything from this particular command line interface you can even create your warehouses you can create databases from here itself you know not even ui so this is uh, all about your snow sql i hope you you are liking this particular series do remember to share these videos because you know it takes a lot of effort in creating these videos and i hope that you like these videos and do remember to subscribe and share my channel so thank you so much for being till here